Leslie Osborne, and I have a food blog called Bessie Bakes, where I share delicious whole food recipes, highly detailed posts on how to make artisan bread and pastry at home, and traditional and gluten-free baked goods as well. So today I'm here to talk to you about authentic Parisian traditional and chocolate croissants. And the first time I ever experienced a real croissant was when I attended the intensive two-month artisan bread and pastry program at the French Pastry School in Chicago, Illinois. Their master French bakers served me the most beautiful croissant for the first time, and I took one bite and I just died and went to heaven. Um, and I thought to myself, I actually didn't really know what a real croissant tasted like until this moment. And chances are you might be thinking that you've had them as well, like, oh, I get them at the grocery store, or I get them at the giant warehouse in a 20 pack, or I even get them at a chain coffee shop in the drive through Well, I'm here to just tell you that you really haven't tried the real deal croissant. It's really hard to find authentic Parisian pastries in America. So the only way sometimes to actually try the real deal is to actually make them at home from scratch. But that can kind of be a challenging process, and so you really need very detailed step-by-step -step instruction of what the dough should look like, how to fold the butter into the dough, how to do three folds so that we create 163 layers of flaky pastry dough. When you bite into a real croissant, it's gonna have this intense crunch, and you're gonna get flaky crumbs all over you, and you're really gonna be transported to Paris in that moment. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step-by-step -step today. The best part is, is you can actually make these in advance for a holiday party or for just a super fancy brunch where you wanna dazzle your family and friends. You can freeze them, pop them back in the oven, and it'll be like you just made them that day. So let's get started, enroll in my class, and let's take a trip to Paris.